to this edition of Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Our guest today is Erin Gagné. She's the owner of Revive Wellness, which is located in downtown or Old Town Bluffton. So hi, Erin. How are you? And you just shared with me that you're getting ready to go on vacation to Costa Rica. So very exciting. Yes, thank you so much for having me back. I'm excited to, to be here today. Right, and w when we talked last time, we said let's this this month let's dive into hormones and yep. and revive wellness and how you deliver hormones and why they're important. But let's start back at the basics. So sure. for for a woman, um, and I guess and a man, what what kind of hormones do we have? Why what changes through our life? Why do we need them? Are they important? Yeah. Um, so when we talk about hormones, basically what hormones are is they're like chemical messengers and we have hormone receptors over our entire body. And so they're vital because they send messages for us to do all the things that we need to do on a daily basis. When, when I say hormones, really what we're talking about when we talk about replacement is the reproductive hormones. So for women, that's actually estrogen, testosterone, progesterone. And for men, it's mainly testosterone, but there's also an importance of watching those estrogen levels too. And then of course, uh, the side of that is the thyroid gland. So those are really the biggest things that we work on rebalancing and, and replacing. Right. And so how does someone, how do they know that it's, that their, their feelings, their depression, their anxiety, they're just not feeling well is a result of hormone deficiency or imbalance? You know, I think the great thing is a lot of people are becoming more aware that something is off with their bodies because of this wonderful world of the internet. You know, there's a lot of good and bad information out there, but a lot of us know now like, hey, maybe this is my hormones, you know, and we can have hormonal imbalances at a younger age too. So the simplest way that we start to look at those things are, are in blood work. It's a really inexpensive and easy way to start to see, hey, maybe there's something off. Maybe my moods are related to this okay. irregular cycles, being tired all the time. Right. All right. So at Revive Wellness, let's talk about what, again, you do and how you counsel folks and how you deliver hormones to those that, that might need them. Yeah. So I think one of the things we do a little bit differently is we take a functional approach and a comprehensive approach. So we don't just give you hormones. We really look at every component that could be influencing your hormones. So whether that is, you know, a really significant um, stress impact, whether that's high inflammation, uh, whether the thyroid is off, and we want to balance all of the hormones because they like to be in perfect balance. If one's off, they all go off. And then we really look at, you know, things in your lifestyle that could be influencing how the hormones are in balance too, and help you kind of get those back on track too. So it's a whole picture, not just throwing hormones at you. And so kind of delve into that a little bit more, Erin. So how do you deliver those hormones? What, what are, is it pills? Is it shots? How, you know, when we come to you, what, what, what do you do with us? How, how do you treat? So what I do is it's really, you know, just a conversation with the patient and it's informed consent. And what informed consent is, is explaining all of your options. And that can be the option to do nothing. That can be the option to just do nutritional and, you know, lifestyle balancing or the option to go on hormone replacement therapy. And there's multiple ways to do that. So there's a cream that you rub in every day for estrogen and testosterone. Um, progesterone is typically an oral pill. Uh, testosterone can be replaced in a cream, something under the tongue, injections, or a little subcutaneous pellet that's delivered under the skin and dissolves over the course of three months. So I have that conversation and I always tell patients it's what you feel most comfortable with and what you're going to be consistent with. That's what matters the most. And Erin, do you follow folks through your patients through once you start working with them and treating them? Do you just continue to, do they continue to see you? Do you talk to them on the phone? How do you uh, continue that, that treatment? Yeah. And that this is most important because I see this done wrong. You can't just start hormones and then be like, see you in a year. It doesn't right. work that way. So 
I typically start patients on hormones. I see them back either in office or on the phone in six weeks. Then we draw labs again, you know, either at that six week mark for thyroid and then again at three months. And we continue to follow and draw labs until we've dialed it in, nailed their dosing, they're feeling great. And then we can kind of space out those appointments. So I always tell people that first year is the most intense to get things mm -hmm. perfect. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Erin Gagne. Have a great trip to Costa Rica. And again, Erin is the owner of Revive Wellness, located in Old Town Bluffton. Have fun, hun. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Robin. Bye.